Dear VT students, I welcome you all again into another video. Hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will be discussing harmonic Fourier series. It is most important question as far as VT examination is concerned. Most of the times VT has uh, repeated this. Express Y as a Fourier series up to the second harmonic given. So X values are given and Y values are given respectively. Okay, sometimes this X is also called as theta. It is your choice what you can write down in the examination. Okay, if it is X in the examination, write it as X or x itself so we have some formulas we have some first harmonic coefficients and second harmonic coefficients so these are called the first harmonic coefficients a naught e1 and b1 and second harmonic coefficients are here a2 and b2 so these five numbers you have to remember over here okay and it is very simple to remember so see here a naught is equal to 2 by n summation of y so what is the summation of y simply y values are given you have to sum up these values you will get summation of y term okay in the table itself i have written over here that is summation of y we have to calculate next one we have here to a1 is equal to 2 by n summation of y cos of theta so we need summation of y cos of theta so in the table itself you can write down y cos theta and y sine of theta so that you will get uh, the numbers from this particular column then you can uh, simply sum up you will get summation of these terms whatever you will get here so you will get summation of y cos of theta and from here y sine of theta you will get summation of y sine of theta see here in the b1 is equal to by n summation of y sine of theta so here we need summation of y sine of theta okay so here we can calculate this much now in the second harmonic coefficients so this is where a2 is equal to by n summation of y cos of 2 theta so we need y cos of 2 theta first so he, see here i have taken y cos of 2 theta once you will get these values you will get summation of y cos of 2 theta similarly from here b2 is equal to 2 by n summation of y sine of 2 theta so first of all we need to calculate y sine of 2 theta so i have written here y sine of 2 theta once you will get these terms then automatically you will be find, finding out x sorry summation of y sine of theta these values you will get here then ultimately once we get these all values we have, so you have to put these all values in this particular general equation that is y is equal to a naught by 2 plus a1 cos of x b uh, plus b1 sine of x plus a2 cos of 2x plus b2 sine of 2x this is a general equation uh, so first of all i will take down these particular values okay so i have taken here x and y value as it is it is given in the problem 0 60 120 180 240 and 300 i have written over here 0 60 120 180 240 300 okay then y value are here 4 3 2 4 5 6 so 4 3 2 4 5 6 now what we have to calculate first of all we simply calculate sine theta cos theta or simply sine x or cos x as it is in the problem x given if it is theta so you have to write down theta if it is x so you have to write down x over here so first of all we will calculate this sine theta simply cos theta simply then we can find out y sine of theta okay so first of all sine theta theta means x value over here so x is given 0 so sine of 0 once you will just put in calcium calculate these values first of all you have to put sine of 0 sine of 0 is nothing but 0 okay then sine of this 60 this you have to consider the angle over here okay theta is this one 60 sine 60 is nothing but minus 0 0.304 the calculation part is yours you can do it and sine of 120 sine of 120 is 0 0.5804 sorry uh, 0 0.580 and next one we have sine of 180 it is one sorry minus 0 0.801 and sine of 240 is 0 0.945 and sine of 300 is minus 0 0.999 okay so these are the values of sine of theta once you are putting 0 60 120 180 240 300 you will get these values okay first of all i will show you in the calc itself how to put so see here i will show you how to find out these so sine of 0 is equal to 0 i have taken here 0 now simply sine of 60 is equal to mi minus 0 0.30 so likewise you have to calculate these values okay now cos of theta so cos of 0 is nothing but 1 similarly cos of 60 it is minus 0 0.952 and similarly you will get here 0 0.814 cos of 120 cos of 180 value is minus 0 0.598 and cos of 240 value is 0 0.325 and cos of 300 is minus 0 0.22 
2 okay now y sine of theta which we need in these particular formulas you see here y sine of theta we need y cos of theta we need so y value is given 4 4 multiplied by sine of theta is 0 4 into 0 is 0 3 into this much you will get minus 0 0.912 and 2 into this 0 0.580 you will get uh, 1.16 and 4 multiplied by this term you will get minus 3.204 and 5 multiplied by this term you will get uh, 4.725 and 6 multiplied by this term you will get uh, minus 5.994 okay now again we have to calculate this y cos theta see here cos of theta we have calculated in some books you will not see these sine theta and cos theta values directly they have calculated y sine or y cos i have made it simple for you so that you can understand it very well so cos theta we have here the values and y values are here so what we have to calculate y cos of theta see y is 4 4 into 1 is 4 3 into this term uh, that is minus 0 0.952 you will get here minus 2.856 and similarly 2 into 0 0.814 you will get 1.628 and 4 multiplied by 0 0.598 you will get minus 2.392 and 5 multiplied by this term you will get 1.625 similarly 6 into this one you will get minus 0 0.132 theta now what we have to calculate y sine of 2 theta y value is here sine of 2 theta means you have to uh, just put 2 into theta means this value so y sine of 2 into 0 y sine of 0 it is nothing but 0 y sine of 2 into 60 y sine of 2 into 60 you will get value as 1.741 and similarly y sine of 2 into 120 these theta these theta values are here so y sine of 2 theta y is here 2 sine of 2 into theta 2 into 120 once you are calculating in the KLC you will get uh, 1.890 similarly y sine of 2 theta y sine of 2 into 180 degree you will get 3.835 and y sine of 2 into 240 you will get 3.080 and y sine of 2 into 300 you will get uh, 0.265 hope you are getting my point so now i will show you in the calcium itself how you have to calculate see this is y value y value is here 4 multiplied by sine 2 into 0 is 0 so that is 4 into 0 is uh, 0 now y sine of 2 theta y means we have here 3 so 3 sine of 2 multiplied by this 60 you will get 1.74 1.741 1 what i have written over here right then similarly you have to take 120 degree you can cross it and write down 120 and instead of 3 y value is different now 2 so 2 is equal to 1.89 1.89 89 so 1.890 similarly you have to calculate all the values okay this is the sample which i am showing to you now y cos of 2 theta y value is here cos 2 theta theta means this 0 y cos of 0 cos 0 is 1 1 into 4 is 4 Simil similarly y into cos 2 theta y is here 3 cos 2 into theta means 60 y cos 2 into 60 you will get value as 2.442 similarly y cos of 2 theta y is here 2 cos of 2 into theta means 120 you will get value 0 0.651 similarly here you will get minus 1.134 and here you will get minus 3.936 and here you will get minus 5.99 okay these are all values what i have calculated now what is the important thing over here we have to calculate summation of y which will be uh, useful in this particular equation and summation of y sine of theta it will be useful in this equation and summation of y cos of theta it will be useful in this equation right so first of all we will do summation 4 3 7 9 9 4 13 plus 5 is 18 18 plus 6 is 24 so summation of y we are getting 24 similarly once you sum up these terms you will get summation of y sin theta as 4.225 minus 4.225 once you are just summing these terms you will get summation of y cos theta as 1.873 and if you are summing these terms you will get summation of y sin of 2 theta is equal to 10.7 sorry 10.811 and here 
after getting summation you will get summation of y cos of theta it is y cos of theta so summation of y cos of theta it is equal to minus 3.971 okay i hope up to this it is clear now you have to put down these all values in these particular equations so that you will get a naught a1 b1 and a2 and b2 so see here a naught is equal to 2 by n so what is the n n number is this much 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have n number as 6 2 by 6 summation of summation of y we are getting here 24 so simply multiplied by 24 which is equal to 6 1 6 4 is 4 into 2 that is 8 so a naught value we are getting 8 okay then a1 a1 is equal to this much 2 by n 2 by n means 2 by 6 summation of y cos theta see here summation of y cos theta is 1.873 1.873 once you just calculate this much in the kelsey you will get a1 is equal to 0 0.624 0 0.624 0 0.624 similarly b1 b1 is equal to 2 by n that is 2 by 6 multiplied by summation of y sine of theta summation of y sine of theta is nothing but minus 4.225 minus 4.225 once you calculate it you will get b1 is equal to minus 1.408 so this is the b1 value now we have to calculate a2 and b2 so see here a2 is equal to 2 by n 2 by n summation of y cos 2 theta so i can write down summation of 2 by 6 summation of y cos 2 theta y cos 2 theta summation is here that is minus 3.971 minus 3.971 okay after calculating this much you will get a2 is equal to minus 1.323 right then b2 is equal to see here b2 value is 2 by n that is 2 by 6 multiplied by summation of y sine of 2 theta so y sine of 2 theta is here that is 10.811 10.811 you will get b2 value as 3.603 so this is your b2 value okay now it is the time to put down these all values see here a naught we get 8 a1 this much b1 this much and a2 is here and b2 is here now we have to put down these all values in this general equation that is y is equal to y is equal to a naught by 2 what is the a naught value this is 8 over here so 8 divided by 2 plus a1 cos of x so a1 value is nothing but 0 0.624 0 0.624 cos of x cos of x plus b1 sin x see here b1 is negative value 1.408 i can write down minus 1.408 and sin x is here sin x you can write down as it is then plus a2 value what is the a2 value minus 1.323 i can write down minus 1.323 and we have here cos of 2x so cos of 2x plus b2 sine of 2x so what is the b2 value b2 value is 3.603 3.603 and here we have sine of 2x sine of 2x so this, so this is the required fourier series up to the second harmonic okay hope you have understood this question with ease over there make sure if you have understood this much you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates who are having backlog in mathematics subject this is all about today's video thank you stay tuned and wait for my next videos thank you